people, 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 people. Can't pass a sock, say what they do. Now, people, the hottest topic on social media in the news is Squaddy, the Nyama Squaddy. Squaddy that is going viral all over social media. And, people, this is part three of three. Now, based on the information, it is said that on March 2nd, 2021, the Commissioner of Popo, Major General Anthony Anderson, has given direction that a policeman that was seen in a viral video in compromising position on social media be interdicted with immediate effect. That means say, right, 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 right. No. Now, people, what this means is that the top cop he is going to reprimand the Nyamin squad. So, therefore, they are going to take some sort of action. They are going to do some sort of investigation as to see if this person is going to get fired, is he going to lose any sort of rank? Are they going to take out his tongue? Are they going to chain him up to a tree like a bad naming dog? People, me no know. However, the Popo Federation said that in light of that information, they are fighting for him to be taken off intradiction. So people, that is what they have to say. So take a listen to the voice note and then I'll give my piece. Campbell, I know the questions and... and from a from a perspective looking at both perspective in the first instance i believe and this is me being presumptuous that the high command would have taken the stance based on the fact that the 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 what has been circulated in social media and the outcry and they're saying that he would have brought the organization into disrepute if you can look at the the memes that coming out regarding the different products and things like that and the fact that the member was properly attired in uniform except his headdress now i get the point regarding the the fact that it is consensual um member is not based on the, the video is not on duty or anything like that um so whilst i understand the position of the high command we at the federation have a, have a position as well in the sense that we are here to represent the member as welfare we look at at not just what happens regarding a member's salary but his mental state and his, his, his state of mind and having looked at this particular situation i believe that looking at what transpired publicly and based on what the committee the central committee would have would have garnered internally privately we believe that it is in the best the members best interest that such a course of action not be taken against him i think it would exacerbate a, a, a bad situation and so from a federation perspective we decided that it is best that we intervene to assist the member along that line and and, and i can report that i believe that our representation bore some fruits and and we are looking at the members welfare at this particular time now people i know that a lot of persons are going to listen to this and they're not going to understand jack s h i t that he is saying so basically what he is saying that the popo force the commissioner of popo they are saying that this man bring all sorts of shame to the uniform he is a disgrace to the popo force however in light of that the federation people them they are saying that they are representing this man and this man already have all sorts of shame to his name so therefore his reputation is basically out the door so basically they must say this man kind of shake right now and if he loses his job anything can happen he might find a short cliff and take a long walk so people they are just saying that this man basically shaky so therefore if he take away him job who knows he might just lose his tongue so anyways people there are other voice notes that are out there i am going to let you take a listen take a look to them and then i'll give my piece then so hold on why am i going to lose job for because if you man up on duty why are you going to lose job you see, people are speculating, say, man in a uniform and the man in a this and that. Nobody never tell us, say, can't do they're doing a uniform. Suppose a man gonna come from work, a man gonna go on his way from work, or something. And I police vehicle, man, do it, you know. And I go in vehicle, you know. I remember, say, him bring the police foot, the police foot in this foot. You know, see me just send you King mix up, I will review right. Then fire a man. You think a joke? Me don't send a link with King Mix, I'm talk about it. And what the, the commission and police say. Because in doing the service week, you know, I remember say that, bring a, a thing from the force. I remember say that, yes, eh, them thing one in the force, but not in a public. And you don't remember saying, man. 
You must say, Mr. Gomez, work, I know. You don't work, Mr. Gomez, work, I know. Everyone, I never want to know I'm a citizen. I'm a big deal, like. I become mean, a police, like, this is a big deal. You know what I'm saying? Oh, see, I never was in a police vehicle. Come here, look for see, I'm not safe, I never see. Well, if you in business, that thing get just one crutches. And I'm like, a fuck him, a fuck him, and yummy, man, yummy. <laughs> what a way if you get suck. I look for the clad girl, too. I say, my big clad police, I make girl tell him, say, put him on the pussy, and lick it, and tell her how it tastes. Look for the girl, too. Eh, if you have money, you're going to see, and I look at the clad decent girl, and I'm I look good. Look for the pussy, all cow. Girl, body, me, Jimmy, you can't see her face. But in my front part, the me, Jimmy, boy, me, I tell her. Me, I look for the video, I'm a sick clad, and I video, me, I watch. How are you, the dark for two, man? You deserve a losing job. Yo, you know what I see? You know what I see? For me and your mind, I think it's the same thing. I see him think me and prevent time to see it, you know. I see him think me and say, yo, but why? Anyway, I think it's like, oh, I've been taking a bush on us all. But I see him think me and priest still say, yo, when I look for a girl to be clad. Eh? See him exact thing. Yeah, Shaka. Have you ever seen him? See, you know, they're a pretty girl. A decent girl, a look good, body clean, well, pretty and slim and, and neat and look good if you are going to be there. If you are good on the road there. And I watch no face. But you got to look, look for the clock girl, man. Look for the clock girl, brother. No, nah, man. No, nah, man. You see me? I, 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 I them thing I make so crazy coming, coming now, nah, man, no way. You got girl where no man telling me so crazy. And the girl say, yo, we're not going to be there because so crazy come like a normal thing now because of them. Clad, not the man here. The man say, squad in your hand, you have with ambition to be clad. When you think about it, to be clad, you can't see the girl face, but look at the girl body. The girl grind kind of dirty, dirty, no be clad, and look nasty, nasty, and she look like she fat, and boy, I mean, I know I'm clad. That's true, man. What the man said, I have a suit. He's like, when you have a suit, you know, a decent girl, but look good and clean, man. I'm a clad, boy. That's true, I real talk, the man said, man. I'm a clad. Man, I saw it's a movie squad when I met, man. I don't want to joke thing, bro, God. I think I got a silly sick when you send me up and talk to the club. Squad is not playing no a game in a government vehicle. Oh, club. Squad is a monkey, you know. Yeah, man, squad is a monkey, man. Look for the girl, too. Girl, fat still. But look for the girl. Clad. I'll be girl carry for this. She has a squad here now. <laughs> Yo, dog. Scotty. Hey, expert, you wanna? Scotty deadly, no buck clad, you know. Scotty come like I say, man. Demolish clad government vehicle, right? That's a deer and dead. And that's a car patrol. You wanna pass it in corner. Oh, the two-legged crossroad, right, that's a squaddy clad park up. A spot check in the run. See it there? A top, what? Jesus Christ Almighty. Right out the two-legged crossroad, round a pistol in corner, and that's a squaddy top. A squaddy there, do it thing. Could they? Go there, squaddy. Go there, squaddy, you b clad, yo. And fire your pistol wall. And that you don't take taxpayer money, I do. I want to go start, man. You don't see man from Clark Road. You see, you know? Take man money and go buy some ugly girl in near me. Yo. I want to, you know, man. I squad it. Lego boy. Come out the government vehicle and go near me with ambition, you drunk, yo. Now, people, based on these voice notes, I see that some people have some sort of issue. The first issue is that it is said that this man was snacking in the uniform. Now, people, first thing first, when this man was snacking, he did not have on any sorts of bib. So, therefore, him could not basically soil up the government uniform. And what was even worse is that he was doing the naming in the vehicle. We are talking about government vehicle. 
So basically that is why the commissioner of Popo is saying that he should fire him immediately. Now people, what is even worse is that for five minutes of snacking, just to finish the snack box we are talking about the KFC, he is going to lose his job. Now one of the things that I did not agree with is the fact that these people are saying that this lady was fat. She kind of poco poco, so therefore she was not memorable. So people, they are basically saying that if you are going to eat, eat with some sort of standard, eat with some sort of etiquette, eat with some sort of moral. Don't eat anything with kind of pyoko pyoko. So people adopt them and say, that is not what I am saying. That is what the people and the people out there are saying. Based on the video that they saw, based on how the woman looked, people, me no know that are what they must say. Me just say what they must say. You get what me I say?